Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another great Thor News episode of Signs in the Heavens. And today, 2020 is so crazy. Reed Timmer, Reed the Tank Timmer, is talking about, oh, good heavens, because Amber Kaufman said, guys, we just saw one of the craziest things we've ever seen in our lives, and I managed to capture some of it, a meteor for the ages. And, you know, by meteor, let us put an asterisk behind it, fireball. That one had a triple pop, and then its pod people land afterwards. Is it a meteor? Is it a meteorite? Is it an asteroid? Is it UFOs? Man, yeah, I don't know. I have, I've, you know, I have UFOs on my 2020 bingo card. So, if it is UFOs, then I'm getting way closer to bingo. Technically, I think I've bingoed out like twice, but whatever. There's no need, because usually they just have pow, pow. They just have one, two. This had a one, two, three. And then it had little trinkets that fell after it. So this is definitely one of the cooler fireballs we have seen in a while. Um, It's kind of green and has a glow, but it's it's sparking. This must be when, you know, they're coming at like light speed and then they have to slow down. I think it's the brake mechanism, pow, pow. But it had a triple pow. And then it had big chunks after it, so... This is definitely an interesting fireball. If you're into the that type of thing, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so, you know, yeah, maybe um, plan and prepare for evil Earth taking over aliens, but pray for, you know, E.T. phone home peaceful aliens because that that's the style we go for here at Thor News. And then Paul M. Smith is bringing us a close-up of a sprite with Halo and a mechanical all-seeing eye, I guess. Maybe that's a new technological windmill or something? I don't know. But look at these. Sprites are crazy. I think sprites are like ethereal creatures slowly approaching Earth or something. I don't know. They seem to be getting more defined. People would say that it's our camera technology, but I don't know if I buy that, you know? People would assume that sprites are evil because red gets a really bad rap, but um, I don't know. They always seem like friendly creatures. And they've got their like arms extended out like, hello, let me give you multiple hugs. And we would be like, hey, we have to social distance these days. So we can give uh, internet high fives from a distance, spritey people. Okay, great. But there are definitely multiple signs in the heavens. Now for good signs, in my opinion. One of the very first subjects I ever got into at Thor News was the sun. Because the sun is magical. The sun is mystical. There's no master of the sun. There's no single person or group that knows everything about the sun. Whoa. What is that? That's crazy, huh? And so, I, you know, the more I learn about the sun, the less I know about it. But I have figured out that empires fall during a solar minimum, which we've been in. And that empires rise during a solar maximum, which we are headed towards. And so we have... For the first time, we have two sunspots from new solar cycle 25. We have this one down here. I believe it's AR2767. And then up here, we have AR2768. And so that is very exciting. This one had a couple A-class flares. And this one may have some flares with it. Um, probably not any major flares yet. Because they're... What alpha, beta, dam, gamma, delta signaling is not magnetically polarized and, and shit or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. But look, it almost looks like it has two sunspots with it. So it's got the littler sunspot on the side and then a bigger sunspot after it. I could be wrong about that. Um, I'm more of a visual guy, man. The like whole math and science and charts part of the sun, sun science is not my game. Um, my game is the, like, looking at it, figuring it out, and stuff. And so, that's a lot of magnetic loops, you know? So, I don't know. So, this is a good sign, because the more good light we get, the better things will get. And, man, I'm definitely in a mood for things to get better on planet Earth. Because they've been kind of crappy, you know, collectively, <laughs> over the last few years. Ooh, our little black box. I don't wish it was up in the same place. What are you, little black box? Did you see it? 
And remember, when you see the sun do super wacky stuff like that, that means that it's drunk, it's on drugs, and it needs more sleep. Okay, I made that up. The sun is always awake. Asterisk, I guess you could say that solar minimum is like a, a sun slumber. So, so this one, we love you, Sunspot, but this one seems more exciting. And did you see it get all fuzzy at the end? And then look at that. I don't know, dude. The sun is a crazy creature. People are like, the sun doesn't have feelings. I'm like, you don't have feelings. That's how I run the show around here. So that's exciting. Things are getting more exciting, as if you were bored in 2020. Ooh, yep, this one looks fun. And I don't know, man. I would say two sunspots with some flaring in July of 2020, kind of like I predicted. It doesn't qualify as minimal solar activity and it doesn't qualify as grand minimal solar activity that would be like if the sun was totally blank and doing nothing but you know i'm not necessarily an expert on other people's wild theories and then you know i'm not putting hydrochloroquine in my dick hole and that, and that means detective hole so you know take everything with a grain of salt if you want to, unless you're allergic to salt, I mean, it will make you bloated. Ooh, look at that, dude. Yeah, the sun is definitely waking up doing some crazy shit, man. That is exciting, and it's getting me excited. Look at that. Look at all those. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, I want the sun to come roaring back. I want the good times to return. I would like the roaring 20s, but I don't want them to end in some major depression in the 30s. It'd, it'd be nice to learn from our mistakes of the past. Look at that. Oh, it's like the tongue that sticks out. Like a frog tongue trying to catch a fly or something. And did you see that rectangular boxy thing? All right, man. Yeah, make, you know, sounding smart is not my game. So if you're looking for people who sound super smart, you're probably going to want to go somewhere else. Um, I like to sound funny, although comedy can be difficult in the 2020s. That is so pretty. Amazing. Love you, Sunspot. I'm going to get the other Sunspot jealous. This one is definitely interesting. It's okay to get excited. It's okay to like things. It's okay to like people. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to say, hey, I don't know. It's okay to, you know, it's okay to okay. Okay? Sounds great. But these are exciting times. Am I repeating myself? I don't want to do that. Somebody will sit in silence with you. I'm holding your hand on the astral plane. Can you feel it? I'm sending love, light, happiness, and joy your way. Congratulations. You have survived another 2020 day. And so, yeah, signs in the heavens are saying it's going to get more interesting. Oh, did I mention about the planet parade? See that? Tick, tack, ping, pow. Oh, did you see the light that came out of it? Oh, God. I love solar maximums. And it probably won't get to maximum for about another four or five years. So we're going to see the sun slowly wake up. Though I would say two sunspots pretty early on is a good sign that she may do some very impressive things this time. And remember last time we had a double peak minimal solar maximum. So nobody really knows what the sun's going to do, man. That has been my point for 7.8 years and I'm sticking to it. Granted, you can't start some type of gang and get gang jackets. If you tell people, hey, man, we don't really know what's going to happen next, you know, but you can start an Astro Fight Club because clubs are fun and at clubs you have like snacks and punch and games and song singing and good times and you get, you run away from negativity. You're like, get out of my face, negativity. I'm done with that shit. I'm done with the post 1999 doom all the time. Biru's going to rip up my butthole. And, um, you know, whatever. Okay, great. And we got rare red knocked loose in clouds. They're rare. Knocked loose in clouds are supposed to be electric blue. See, everything's breaking the rules these days. This past weekend in Sweden, photographer P.M. Hidehan saw a different color, dark red. My 17-year-old son was with, out with friends. Were they social distancing? <laughs> he text, texted me the message, knocked loose I looked out 
and didn't really understand what I saw. The tops of the clouds were red. The universe is changing, man. The solar system is changing. The planets are changing. The sky is changing. Um, and hopefully humanity will change at some point. We'll get past all the greed and the hatred and shit. See, this isn't the first time that red knocked loose and clouds have been seen. There was a significant outbreak of red NLCs over Europe on June 21st, 2019. However, they are really rare and not fully understood. Not fully understood. Not fully understood. It's okay to not fully understand everything or anything. Like, I don't fully understand women. Hey, we had 31 fireballs. But I love them. Fireballs. So that looks like some activity in the fireball region. And we just kicked this video off with the fireball. We got some asteroids that are close. And one that was super close. Oi, four. Oh, yeah. It missed us, though, apparently, because it's 29th. And we didn't have any reports of space rocks. We got one that's decent sized coming in. For example, oil was only three kilometer, kilometers or is it meters? Meters. Okay. Kilometers would be a different thing. ESA, ES4 on 2011 ES4. That's coming in on the 1st of September. We'll talk about it more and probably in an edited fashion down the road. I already miss Comet Neo Wise. Hey, remember I used the Nostradamus quatrains to uh, presages to say, hey, there'll probably be a comet that we can see in the sky in July. So thanks for that. Shout out to Nostradamus. You know, man, Thor News, it's, it's special. I'm special. We're special. You're special. I love you, Asteroid Fight Club. Those are pretty dang cool, man. Those are pretty. Those are beautiful. Those are definitely beautiful. You know, in like 2017, 2018, 2019, I would have been like, I wish I'd have a girlfriend and we would hold hands and smoke cigarettes and drink whiskey under the knock loose in clouds and auroras. I don't do that no more because my emotional skin is tough. All right, great. So it's going to get weirder. Oh, did I mention the planet parade? I will. Hey, dude, you got all the planets on the same side of the sun, creating a major imbalance and they're all bunched up like one family. Maybe they're dysfunctional, just like Earth. It's a crazy thought, huh? And so that's probably going to lead to some upticks in earthquakes and volcanoes and strange activity. And it would be easier for aliens to jump from planet to planet, moon to moon, if they're all this close. You know what I'm saying? So, buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride for the rest of the year, I imagine. Hey, man, because I'm not in a, a solar or science gang or political gang. Everybody's ganging up these days. Except for me. Asteroid Fight Club is a club. If you would like to contribute, I do a monthly fundraiser every month to keep the news up and running. I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron. Only $1,654 left to raise in the next six days. I got to give a super special shout out to all of Astro Fight Club, any cool person on the planet, anyone helping keep Earth together, and Mike, Andy, Robert, Bennett, Matthew, Jess, Angel, Wagon Breath, and Dan. Thank you all very much for being so awesome, being here with me and helping me do my thing and giving it to y'all constantly. I couldn't do it without y'all. Y'all are special, magic, and awesome. So everybody stay cool, and I'll be talking to y'all in the future. God bless everyone. May the force be with you always, and let us live long and prosper together. Technically, maybe even forever. All right. And we need more romance and comedy in the world. Thank you. You can hit the button now, baby. Party dance time.